Hi, it's Aaron with another Quick Tech video provided by VirtuWorks. In this video short, we're going to tackle the privacy settings on a Mac that prevents screen sharing apps from permitting a remote user from seeing or interacting with your Apple PC. This access is required in the event that a remote support session needs to be established to the machine. Here I am connected to the VirtuWorks Rescue Console with a generic session I made up on our side. Once the conditions to start a session have been met, such as entering the code similarly to what I did here, you will likely be presented with a set of options. The launch option is to be used if you have previously downloaded the app in question, whereas the download option brings the app down to your machine. If you are unsure, select the download option. Macs are pretty diligent about warning you regarding the inherent risk of downloading software from the internet. You will likely be presented with a request to allow downloads from the particular site. Assuming the user is intending to establish the connection, it is safe to allow. A blue progress bar will indicate the status of the download and an icon for the app will appear to the bottom right, typically blinking to get your attention. Double click the icon to launch it. A pop-up will appear stating that the software would like to control the PC using accessibility features. Click the button labeled Open System Preferences. A new window will open to the System Preferences dialog and focused on the Security and Privacy section's Privacy Settings. To make any changes, we must first unlock the settings by clicking the lock symbol at the bottom left. Enter your Mac's keychain password, which is the same that you use to log in, or an administrator password if the logged in user is a standard user. Then we are going to find the Accessibility tab in the left menu and click it to highlight it. The right window will display all applications that are allowed or expressly disallowed on the system. Put a check mark next to the application you are running to make the remote connection. Next, we'll need to scroll to the option for screen recording in the left list. Similarly, we are going to put a check mark next to the applications we are permitting, screen connect in this example. We now simply need to apply the lock again by clicking it. No password is required to lock the settings. If the previous section confused you because you were never prompted for the option to click a button to launch system preferences, we can navigate there very easily by clicking the gray icon with a gear located down on the launch bar. Alternatively, one can click the Apple icon at the top left of their screen and choose System Preferences from the menu there. Once open, it's a simple matter to locate the Security and Privacy section. Just click Open and follow the instructions starting with the unlocking of the settings. And that about sums it up. Be sure to leave a like on this video if you found the information helpful. Subscribe to our channel to be notified whenever we publish new content. Once again, my name is Aaron and I thank you for joining me.